Hello there, fellow YouTubers. We're out here at my favorite spot, Brown Road Boat Ramp. We've got the kayak rigged up. We got some new stuff on here today you haven't seen yet. My homemade GoPro pole. Uh, it's a little bit wobbly, but it'll be fine. It won't come out. Uh, we got an A rig rigged up. We're going to throw out for a bit. I do have my Jordan Lee rigged up with a, a chatter bait. That probably won't stay on there, though. We'll probably do something a little bit different. Maybe a jerk bait or something. So we got the fish finder today. We're going to try and find us some bait balls and do some offshore fishing, probably. We'll work the coast too because some can be up there. But yeah, we're going to do it. Let's get out here and let's try and catch a fish. Yesterday was a great day. We caught four trout. Unfortunately, there were camera issues. If they persist today, we got a problem. Let's do it. I just got out. Well, hopefully. That's a good start for the winter. <laughs> what are you throwing? Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll go for that. But they're out here. Like I see <laughs> all kinds of balled up fish. So I think you're in the right spot. I'm just not feeling that. I want spring to come, guys. I want to start throwing out wacky rigged worms crawls and all that other fun stuff that the slays in the spring. Oh, I fish a little faster. Oh. Oh shit. All right. We don't catch a lot of those. Look at that. There he is, guys. First bass of the year. He's a striper. Thank you, buddy. Let's Here's what we caught him on, guys. It's the original weedless wonder. He smashed that. I got this from Academy. I think it was like five dollars and he just caught me my first bass of the year. <laughs> Gentlemen, today's meal is chili mac with beef. Spicy sauce with macaroni, beef, and beans. Uh, super disappointed. I did not put my hot sauce back in the bag again. So third trip out without it. Uh, this one's slightly healthier than the, the last one I tried. Not by much, but we'll see what this is about. So we let it boil and then we mix it and you guys know the drill. Then we Hi guys, doing something here. It's a, doing something here that's special request. My buddy Mac, who always stops by, checks out my videos and comments. He was curious what camping gear I use when I go out. Um, you know, I have a whole lot more camping gear, but when I'm on the kayak, I keep it pretty light, pretty simple for my lunches. Um, I've just got this basic pot and pan set. Uh, it actually came with another piece at home, just like a, like more of a water boil, boiler, uh, not just a skillet. But that came from Cabela's, uh, including, no, silverware not included. Silverware was 99 cents each from Cabela's. It's just cheap plastic. I didn't spend a lot of money on 
the pot and pan set that included the cup size, the measuring cup, and uh, the alternate pot that I typically don't bring out because I just don't use it a lot out here, about $20. Uh, canister of fuel was like $5. And then my, my little cooktop stove was only, I think, 8 or $9 from Cabela's. All of that came from Cabela's. I bring a little fire starter out just in case something's wrong with my matches. But I probably don't need to bring it out anymore. So I've started picking up these waterproof matches from, uh, from Walmart. It's got new strikers on it so you can change out the, the side label. Uh, not only is the container waterproof, which is kind of irrelevant to this, but these matches, they are waterproof. If I light this and I stick it in water, pull it out, it's gonna, just going to keep burning. Let me see if I can get this right for you. Now the matches are about $5 for the container, so they're not cheap. So what we're going to do, we're going to light it. Uh, we see it's going. We're going to completely soak this guy. It's going to fizzle, and here in a moment, it'll spark back up. You see the flame again. We can submerge it. So completely submerged, completely wet. It's like those magic birthday candles. It just lights right back up. Um, they don't last long, which is good because you don't want to get stuck holding this for extended periods of time. But that's what I light my camping stove with. It makes it much easier out here on the water when you don't have to worry about your matches getting wet. And that's about that. Uh, that's what I cook with. You see it. It's there. It's there every week. Uh, we'll have a camping trip in April. We'll get a lot of footage from that. I don't know if I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces or if I'm just going to say, hey, here's an hour worth of video. Uh, watch if you want. Don't if you don't. Um, but that's that's how that's going to go down. So it's been a good weekend so far. Four trout yesterday, and today I caught my first bass in my new kayak. The heaviest bass I've ever caught. I'm pretty sure of it. He was a thick boy. Uh, I hope the video does it justice, but yeah, he was thick. Uh, you know, the heaviest bass I'd ever caught before this was like 2.8 pounds. I'm certain he was over that. I should have measured him, but I wanted to get him back in the water. I was just excited to catch one. So getting ready to sit down, enjoy this meal. I'm going to tell you what I think of the chili mac with beef. Let's see. That smells really good. Right. Overall, it looks like chili mac. A little bit of everything. That's dope. I don't know if the instructions are around the crypt time. Uh, there was a piece in there that was kind of crunchy, you know. Dehydrated food, uh, it is what it is. I do want to show you something. Expiration date on these guys. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's November 2050. Shit would outlive me. But I win today. Make sure I have it in my mouth, it's kind of messy. Um, oh, yeah. That's good. It's hard for me to say this because I've been saying Leonardo da Fettuccini has been the best one for a couple months now. This is close. This is this is equal. If I had to pick two of these that I had to eat, it would be Leonardo da Fettuccini and this chili mac with beef. It didn't have hot sauce in it and that's fine. The spice was just fine the way it was actually. Um, I don't know that adding hot sauce would have given any benefit other than I like my food as hot as possible. This was good. If you want to take my word and get a couple of these and try them out when you're air kayaking, because this, this is much nicer than trying to scarf down a sandwich in the kayak. You know, some soggy sandwich that's been in your cooler all morning. Um, get you some cheap camping gear, find you a spot, take you, you know, 20 minutes out of the boat, moving around, stretching, uh, cook you something to eat. You know, this really helps break up the day. I was sitting over there right before I caught that striper thinking, getting kind of kind of hungry kind of bored I need to I need to get off this kayak now of course once you catch a fish you, you're rejuvenated you want to stay out there and keep fishing but I love these breaks um, I think it really helps in the summertime we'll see how beneficial it is I expect this swimming area to be open so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else I can hitch to for a minute I don't know if I'll be over here I, I may be more prone to having some cold food in the summer but a good hot meal on these cold winter days this is where it's at now, the issue is there's only three or four more of these from uh, Academy that I haven't tried. I don't want to do any of the breakfast ones. I have no interest in that. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I need to expand my horizons, all right? Um, but yeah, only a couple more from the Academy to try, so I need to make a trip up to Greenville, get some of the, what is it, the Alpine brand. Um, 
And I guess once I figure out what I like and how I want to maintain doing this, I'll decide if I want to buy in bulk. You can get a whole bunch of these for like $75, which, you know, you consider $9 each. Um, you'll save some money in the end. That's it for lunch, guys. I'm going to do the most important part of the day. I'm going to clean all this shit up. We're going to get back in this kayak. We're going to fish around for another hour or two. Uh, honestly, probably about an hour. I'm, I'm going to do the other half that I normally do. Throw out that same lure. That was that was a lot of fun. That fish was so fun. So happy to get that first fish in this new kayak and the first fish, first bass fish of 2021. Um, let's do it. Let's clean up and let's see what we can find. Ooh, that was. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the day. We're headed home. Uh, gonna go see what the wife and daughter are into. Maybe play with the cats for a little bit. You know, my buddy's feeling a little bit better. We had a medical emergency with him, but overall it was a good day, man. Uh, yesterday was fantastic, as I said earlier. I went trout fishing, actually caught trout. You know, multiple trout, that, that's plural there. Uh, today, I honestly, I wasn't feeling going out. I almost had to force myself. I got going a little bit later than I wanted to at that. It was close to 11 o'clock when I got in the water. It's 2.30 now. Uh, caught one fish on the day, but he was a good one. He was plump in size. Like he wasn't the longest striper I ever caught. That one still belongs to my birthday. Uh, that one was around 22 inches. This guy, he, he, he might've been around 20. He, I'd say closer to 18. Um, but his weight was off the chain. Like he was a chunky boy. Like he'd been eating down there. So he gobbled that little spoon up and made my day i was completely thrilled uh, a lot of first on the day first bass in that kayak the brand new kayak you know the one you've been seeing a lot here lately uh yeah first bass on a spoon first bass of 2021 first bass offshore i do a lot of inshore fish fishing not a lot of offshore fishing so uh, we had a good meal that chili mac was fire do that one if you ever want to try a try a good meal from academy the, the spicy chili mac is really good um just a great day. The weather was good. Got a little bit warm and sweaty toward the end, but that's what happens when you're using the pedal system to get back. I think I might loosen those boats just a little bit more to make it a little bit easier, but I'm, I'm wondering if really it's just a matter of I need to move the pedals forward so I go a little faster. I did get up right at three miles per hour on the return trip according to the fish finder, so that was cool to see. Um, I can't say enough. I had a great time. I had a great weekend. Uh, you guys are probably seeing these videos a few weeks apart. Um, just know this was a fantastic weekend for me. I absolutely loved it. I got some GoPro issues. I still got to work out. I'm ordering the SD card probably tonight. I didn't do it today. I'll say that today was nice and clean, no SD issues, but I'm just not going to take a chance with it. So we're going to get the, the recommended SD card and we're going to keep on trucking. As always, if you like this, you know, leave me a like, leave me a comment for sure. I like the comments better than the likes, if I'm being honest with you. I like talking to you guys and seeing what you have to say. Uh, subscribe if you really, really, really like what you're seeing because we do it all the time. Spring is coming. You'll see more and more fish actually being caught, not just a bunch of videos of me talking. Um, get excited. We almost made it to spring 2021, and it's going to be a fantastic year. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.